Yeti coolers can keep ice for an extremely long period of time, around five days, even up to 10 days. But how do Yeti coolers keep ice so long? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's episode. Hey, I'm Ryan from thecoolerbox.com. I've owned this Yeti for over three years now. I did a previous ice test and it kept ice for over 10 days, but that was in absolutely perfect conditions and completely full of ice. General use, you're expecting more around the four to six day mark. And I have lived in a van and used this as my primary cooler and it easily keeps ice for around three to five days. So how does it keep ice so long when other coolers might be lucky to keep ice one or maybe two days? Well, the main reason comes down to the insulation in this cooler and the way this cooler is made. So if we open this up, what you can see is that this cooler is extremely thick compared to a regular cooler. In fact, the walls of this cooler are around two inches thick, you know, kind of around one to two and a half inches, depending on what part of the side you are looking at. And the lid itself is around two to three inches thick as well. This is made with roto molded plastic. So the plastic is extremely thick. Plastic, as you may know, is a good insulator. So it's hard for the heat to get through the plastic. But inside this cooler, inside the walls, is pressure injected insulation foam. So it's polyurethane foam, which again is a great insulator. So you've got the plastic that is made out of, the roto molded plastic, which makes it strong. That also insulates it, but then it's filled up with polyurethane foam that's injected into it and that insulation is really the main guts of it and what allows Yeti coolers to keep ice for so long. It's very important that when you're using your cooler you prepare it ahead of time so if you were to leave this in a really hot place like for example I have a van let's say middle of summer I leave it in my van it's just baking then this cooler will actually absorb some of the heat and become quite warm. And if you go ahead and use it straight away, the heat that the cooler has absorbed will then go into your ice and melt it quite quickly. So it's important that you prepare it ahead of time. So to do that, take it out of the heat, put it in a cool place inside, put a sacrificial bag of ice inside overnight to just bring the temperature of the cooler down so you can get that maximum ice retention. So the main reason is the insulation, but there are some other features as well that help Yeti to keep ice for so long. One of those features is here, this commercial grade rubber gasket. You know how on your fridge, when you shut your fridge, it's got the rubber around the side. Generally it's magnetic with a fridge that just helps keep it airtight, keeps the cold air in, keeps the warm air out. It's the same sort of principle with this. You've got this rubber gasket that goes all the way around. It's not completely airtight. It does have a tiny little gap where it doesn't quite meet at the bottom here, but mostly it is leak proof. And when you close it, it actually lines up. You can see the body of the cooler is raised up here for the gasket to line up with. So as you go ahead and shut this, that forms a tight seal, which keeps the warm air out of the cooler, keeps the cold air in the cooler. And then to even improve on that seal even more, you've got the rubber latches on the front. So these have a little bit of flex in them, a little bit of elasticity, and you pull these down, lock them into place. And what that does is it pulls the lid onto the body, making it tight, and also means that you can't open the cooler. So as it bumps around, it's not opening, it's not letting air in. So it just keeps it all really nice and tight in there. Helps keep the cold air in, helps keep the warm air out. And the last feature that helped this cooler to keep ice even longer is on the bottom, we have these non-slip rubber feet. But what they actually do is raise the cooler up just a little bit from the ground. So it means that the bottom of the cooler here, this entire surface, isn't touching the ground. So if you were to put this on somewhere that is hot and it's fully touching, then the heat from maybe it's the tray of your truck, maybe it's sitting in the sun and it's on the ground and the ground's quite warm. If it's touching, then that heat is going to go all the way through. But given that it's raised up a little bit, now it doesn't do it a lot. There's some other coolers that have larger feet that raise it off even higher, which is even better. 
uh, but it does raise it up a little bit, which just helps with that insulation a little bit more. So ultimately, the main reason Yeti coolers keep ice so long is just the thick insulation that they have and the way that they're made. But then you've got the rubber gasket, you've got the latches, and you've got the feet that help with the ice retention as well. So if you're wondering how do they keep ice so long, hopefully this answers your question. And if you are interested in getting a Yeti cooler, then I will link up to them on Amazon down below. So if you click the link down below, you can see the full range of coolers, you can see the pricing, customer reviews, all of that good stuff. That is my affiliate link, so if you go ahead and click on that, and if you buy anything through Amazon, then I do get a small commission for that. So thanks to everyone who goes through that. So thanks so much for tuning in. I'm now going to link up to two videos that I did. One on the problems with Yeti coolers. So before you go ahead and invest money, it's important you, that you know these coolers aren't perfect and have some issues. So I'll link up to that one as well as the best things about Yeti coolers and why I love this cooler so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, stay cool.